In this video, I'm going to be taking a look at the new Nintendo 3DS XL. Now this comes in at $199. It comes in black and it comes in red. It also comes in two limited edition at this time. It comes in a Zelda Majora's Mask and it also comes in a Monster Hunter 4 limited edition. But those are pretty much sold out everywhere. Even this, even the standard black and red ones are really hard to find. So if you can find the new 3DS XL, I suggest you buy one as soon as you see one because they are so hard to find. Now uh, this does come in a new Nintendo 3DS, a smaller version with smaller screens. But unfortunately, Nintendo did not release that in America. It does have all the new features. The only difference is the screens are smaller and it also has face plates so you can actually customize it. That would be very cool if they brought that to the North America, the States. But unfortunately, they did not want to bring it. So the only one we have is the new Nintendo 3DS XL system. Now before I show, show you around this system, I will be talking about the improvements and things like that. And then after that, I'll be, talk, I'll be showing you around the system itself. Now, some of the new improvements is we have faster processing speeds. I think they're about double, but don't quote me on that. Now, in real life experience or real time using it, you will not notice the speed increase or the performance increase of the system by no means. There's only about three areas where you will actually notice performance uh, increases. The first one is downloading games. It's supposed to be about 50% faster when you're downloading eShop games. Secondly, if you're a big Miiverse user, you will not have to wait those millions and millions of years. Of course, not really, but millions of years waiting for a Miiverse to open. I'm just really exaggerating about the millions of years. But it takes so long on the old 3DSs to access Miiverse. It's almost like waiting millions of years. Now it's cut cut in half about 50 to 75% faster on opening Miiverse. So if you're a big Miiverse user, you'll love the speed increase. And the last thing that really shows the speed increase of the system is going to be that new Super Smash Brothers game. On the old system, you know it took about 30 seconds. And when you actually did close it to play another game, it would actually reboot the system every time you close Super Smash Brothers. But now the game loads in about 15 seconds and it doesn't have to close the doesn't have to reboot the system just to close the game. So that's really where the big improvements are. Yes, other games do load faster and closing games loads faster, but in real life performance when you're actually playing it, you won't really notice it. Most games actually load faster by mid by maybe like two to three seconds. It's not really enough for you to notice it. The only reason you would notice it is if you put in the two 3DSs side by side, the old 3DS XL and the new 3DS XL. So Super Smash Brothers, downloading games, and Miiverse are about the only places you would see maximum performance upgrades, like speed upgrades. Those are the only places. Second of Lee, they did something that the old 3DSs sort of had for the longest. They have better 3D. Now I'm not saying the depth of the 3D. The 3D is not better when you're looking at it. It just stabilizes the 3D so that you won't have to worry about seeing any blurriness on the old 3DSs when you looked at it. If you were in a car on a plane or if your hands weren't stable and you shook it just a little bit, it would turn all blurry and mess up your eyes. But on this one, it actually has stable 3D. It has this little sensor that tracks your eyes in the inside of the 3ds so when you're moving your head or shaking the system it'll know it'll know uh it'll know where you're at and it'll keep the 3d stable so you shouldn't see any blurriness in your games when you're using the 3d but just to note the 3d is not better it's just more stable so it will not go wonky now uh that's about it for the 3d and then also they did increase the battery. The battery is supposed to give you longer battery life so you can make it through maybe a small car ride or maybe a five hour plane ride. You get about 50 to 60 more minutes of gameplay. Maybe that's about it. Will you notice it in, re in real time experience? No, you will not notice it. But it's still nice they decided to give us extra battery life.
but it's not a crazy amount. Like I said, 50 to 60 more minutes of gameplay. That's about it. You're not getting anything, anything crazy, like 10 hours or anything. Would that be nice? Yes. But that's uh, all we get right there. Second of lead, we also get Amiibo support for Amiibos. So now you can use Amiibos on this system. Those little uh, Nintendo figurines. Now, the only game that the Amiibos work with at this time are Super Smash Brothers. That's the only game you can use them for. Now, I know the new Steam game that's coming out for this system is supposed to work with Amiibos. And maybe some other games down the road will work with Amiibos. Now, another thing this system has is it does have better speakers. Are the speakers way better than the new than the old 3DS XL? No, but you can tell the difference if you're an old user. They are about 30 to 40 percent louder, but in in a public, you still will need a headphones that actually use the system because they're not that loud. But it is nice they did give us bigger and better speakers by a little bit. And it also uh, one of the major improvements is it also has a uh, more buttons on the system. On the back, it has a ZL and a ZR. So now we get four bumper buttons. And we also get a a C stick. Is the C stick as nice as a regular analog stick? No, but it does work very well. It's basically like a small nipple or a small eraser on the back of an eraser, or it is like a small an old laptop uh, mouse. It does work fairly well when you actually uh, touch it and flick it. It doesn't actually move, but in game it actually works very well. It just doesn't actually move around like the circle pad. It doesn't move around. Now, a lot of your old games that supported uh, the Circle Pad Pro will work with the new C-Stick, like Resident Evil Revelations, Kingdom Hearts, some of those games will work with them, and even the new Super Smash Brothers games will work with the C-Stick. So that is nice they added that. You don't need that bulky uh, attachment anymore. So the C-Stick is a welcome addition. Now, one thing to know, I forgot to mention about the processing power. There's supposed to be new games coming out that will take effect of the new processing power that you can only play on the new 3DS XL due to the fact that it has better processing power. Now the first game we know that's going to take full effect of the new processing power is going to be Xenoblade Chronicles. So if you love that RPG, it's basically a Wii game ported down to the 3DS, but it will not work in any of the previous 3ds is it has to be the new 3ds xl for it to work with xenoblade chronicles is there going to be more games after that we're not really sure if they're going to announce any now in nintendo's past they did release the dsi and the dsi was supposed to have a lot of new games just specific to the dsi was that the case no it was not the case unfortunately they did release maybe one or two games that was only playable on the DSi, but after that it was just a bust. They didn't really release anything else. So if you're if you're if you're uh, wanting to know if you should buy this system just for the new games coming out, don't be worried yet unless you want to play Xenoblade Chronicles. If you don't want to play Xenoblade Chronicles, just wait and to see if any more games are coming out that are only gonna be playable on here. But right now, that's the only game we know of, so, yeah. So now I'm going to take you take take you through the system and show you all the buttons and everything. So uh, here's what the system looks like. It is a glossy finish on both the front and the back. So if you don't like glossy, oh well. I'm not a fan of glossy. It's really just, it does look nice, I will say, but there are just so many fingerprints and so many knockups on glossy. It just really sucks, but what can you do? Now this is the black one. It is hard to see on camera, but this isn't a solid black. It has little small lines running across the front, which make it look like carbon, a carbon finish. But you really have to look really close on the system to see the carbon finish, but it is not a solid black. But for the most part, you can't see the little lines running across it unless you zoom in really, really close and look at it. Now on the front, you still got your two 3D cameras. On the right side, you do have your little small LED. This is still a foldable system. It does have two screens inside. And the screens on here are the same resolution and the same exact size as the old 3DS XL. So you're not getting bigger screens or better resolution if that's what you're thinking. No. Now what I will say is, since it has new processing power, 
it does it does make colors more vibrant i can definitely know the difference but if you're buying a 3ds xl for the first time or if you haven't played your old one a lot you may not notice the difference but i noted noticed the difference straight away when i booted it up the colors are more vibrant on this system but for most users they may not even know that i'm just putting that out because a lot of people never really say anything about that but you do get better color representation not by a lot but you still do get better color representation on the screen you're not getting any better graphics just maybe a little bit better color representation on the games now uh moving to the to the front of the system is where they put all the improvements or they put all the ports now on the bottom left you do have your card sport for all your uh game cards you do have a port for your 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. Now you do have your stylus in the front too. I'm going to go ahead and take it out. It's not telescoping or anything. It is just a small stylus. It is kind of fat and on the end of the stylus it does actually have a it does actually have a little uh a little curve right there. The reason the curves right there is because uh it you have to open the back. Now on the previous 3DSs the car the SD card was on the side on a door you just open the door and you took out the SD card now on the new 3DS XL the memory cards are in the back of the system so you will have to take off the back of the system if you want to access the memory card which is a pain in the butt I will have to say I wish Nintendo didn't do that putting the memory cards in the back is a pain but luckily, you should only have to do it one time. You should only have to take off the backing one time. Now, if you're coming from an older 3DS, you will have to get a new memory card because the memory cards on here are not standard SD. They are micro SD cards. Let me repeat that one more time. They are micro SD. So all your other memory cards will not work. You will need a micro SD card to access it. And luckily, if you buy a big enough memory card, you should only have to upgrade it one time in the entire lifetime of the system get a 34 gig now a little secret is you can use a 64 gig just type it in on google how to use 64 gig and you uh, will be able to use one you just basically got to change the file format of 64 gig and it is supported but it doesn't come out the box supported but you just have to change the file format when you format it on windows or mac just reformat it and you should be good to go now it is kind of painful to take off the back because it does make this cracking noise which kind of sucks but what can you do about that and you will need a type 0 screwdriver I'll just tell you now you do need a type 0 screwdriver to take off the backing of the system a type 0 screwdriver now one last thing before I head on I forgot to mention is that this system also does not come with a charger they haven't been doing that in America but in other regions for all the 3DS's the older ones like the new 3DS XL the 2DS they have not been giving chargers in the boxes it's just the first time in America they have not given out chargers so you will have to buy a charger now I have seen some on eBay and Amazon for one to two dollars so don't think you have to buy the actual one from Nintendo you can buy a USB one or you can buy another one from a different company but the ones from Nintendo are about ten to eleven dollars for a charger now of course all the 2ds models will use the same charger if you have an older 2ds or if you have a dsi or dsi xl they both use the same charger as this so any dsis or any two any uh, 3ds's or 2ds's those uh chargers are supported on here so if you have an older system they will work the oldest one is the dsi those chargers will work on this so you have a uh, going back over it you have your uh your game card slot, your headphone jack, your port for your uh, stylist, and you do have the power button. Now I must say the power button is in an odd spot, but uh, what can you do about that? They had to move it around because they changed some stuff inside. Now here's where the power button is, it's right there. Then you have your uh, LED lights, you got one for charging, one for Wi-Fi and stuff like that. So there's where all your uh, LED lights are right there. Now moving to the side of the system, I don't... Moving to the side of the system, you don't have any more Wi-Fi switch. They did take off the Wi-Fi switch, just like the 2DS. Now, if you want to access Wi-Fi, you do have to go into the settings. It's a little toggle in the settings that says Wi-Fi off or Wi-Fi on. Just know it's not on the side of the system. It may be due to this being more slimmer, or it may be just for saving money. 
Now uh, this is smaller by a couple millimeters, but will you really notice it? No, not really. And on the side of it, there is no more, uh, there is no more uh, volume control on the side of the system. They did move it to the top of the LCD. The top, the top panel does have your uh, volume switch now, so they did move it there. Now uh, moving to the back of the system, you do have more buttons. You have L and R, just like the old 3DSs. And then you have ZL and ZR. So you do get more buttons with this system, which is a very nice addition. So when new games come out, or if, if a game gets updated to use these more buttons, you can have these buttons. And uh, there's your uh, little infrared uh, infrared port, so you can talk to other 3DSs. And then there's your uh, charging port right there, so you can charge your system right there. And that's pretty much all around the whole entire uh, system. Now I'm going to go open it up and show you what's inside the system. One thing to note, it doesn't make a little clicking noise anymore. It is pretty much silent. It just clicks back. It just uh, lays back. You do hear a noise, but it's not like a big, loud, cracking noise anymore. Just like the older systems have in the past. So there's what the 3DS looks like. Of course, if you can see on the bottom, I do have a screen protector on. It's not the best job, but I do have one on. Now, like I said, the screens are the same size and the same resolution as the old one. Now, on the top of the system you do get two speakers the speaker grills are a little bit different but you do get better sound with this system which is very nice on top you get your uh, camera another inside camera and right beside the inside camera you get your little uh, sensor to track your face so you can get stable 3d and that thing actually lights up red you can see it in gameplay but it does light up red it's not like bright red but inside of it you can see a little red light so you can tell if it's on so there is a little red light on the side right here, there's a toggle for your volume. And just like the 3D toggle right there, this uh, volume switch actually clicks down so you know it's all the way off. So you go down and then you click it. You can't really hear the click, but it's just like the 3D toggle. They decide to make it a click now so you know it's all the way off. So you don't have to worry about actually making it too loud if you did. Then all the rest of the buttons are pretty much the same. You got your circle pad. You got your D-pad. Now you got your home button. There's no start, select, and home button at the bottom. There's only a home button at the bottom. Now you got your uh, start and select right there. So your start and select are moved right here to the right side, the right bottom sides where your start and select are. I think that's a very better place because you don't have to reach down a game and pause the game right there. It makes it much more easier. And then you do got colored buttons. You got a, B, X, and Y. They're not the Famicom buttons that the smaller 3DS XL, the new one, came with. But they do give you colored buttons. And they do look fairly nice. And then, of course, you got your new C-Stick, which is a little nub right there. It's hard to demonstrate on camera. But uh, my hand's in the way. But it does not actually move. And it does feel like a, a, a pencil eraser. It does feel like the back of a pencil eraser. But it does work good in games and as you can see this is not a gloss finish for the inside it is a matte finish for the inside of the system which is really really nice so you don't have to worry about it getting gunked up or anything it is a nice matte finish for the inside of the system overall I am very happy with my system I really do enjoy it is it worth getting over an older one uh, it really just depends on how much you play the system if you play the system a lot I probably recommend getting it or if you play Super Smash Brothers, if you play that a lot, it's really going to matter because of, I told you it's faster performance. About 13 seconds compared to the 13 seconds. So if you play a lot of Smash Brothers, then it's really going to take full effect of that game. And you're really going to notice the performance uh, loading the game faster, closing the game. But if you're just a casual 3DS player, I say, nah, just hold off on it and wait until some games come out. If you see any new games coming out for this system that are specific to this and you really like them, then go ahead and get it. But overall, only get it if you play your 3DS a lot or if you really play Smash Brothers, then I can really recommend getting it. But other than that, just hold off because it is $199. There's not enough new improvements to say it's a whole new system because it does use the same operating system and the same games and everything. But anyway, that's just my review on the new Nintendo 3DS XL. Peace. I'll see you guys later in my next video. I'm out.